In the previous video, I showed you Reifer from Reaper, a quick and easy way to build a noise profile and to get rid of some unwanted constant background noise or hum. Prologue. It was spring and they were running, he remembers, running for their lives. Reifer did a great job. It was fast and easy to use. Today, we're going to check out a new plugin from Waves called Clarity VX. A plugin so easy to use and so fast. Well, let me just show you. Okay, so here we are in Reaper. We have the same file from before. We have the same noise. Let's hear it. Prologue. It was spring and they were running, he remembers, running for their lives. Today, we're going to use Waves Clarity VX, a new plugin that just came out recently. Let's add it to the track. This is what the interface looks like. You'll notice it looks pretty simple to use. There's a single knob, and there's two neural network modes. The first one, Broad 1, says that it is better for keeping voice detail and secondary speech. Broad 2 is better for severe ambience and keeps mostly the main voices close mic. Let's keep it on Broad 1 by default, and let's see what happens when we just crank it all the way up. Prologue. It was spring, and they were running, he remembers, running for their lives. At least, that's how the dream always seemed to start. That definitely sounds clean, and it was certainly easy to do. I mean, there's only one knob. It seems pretty hard to mess that up. Overall, I think it's given us a good starting point to work from, to attack with further processing. And for the price, I think that's well worth it. So that was a tutorial on how to use Waves Clarity VX to quickly remove background noise. It did a good job, was easy to use, and got results fast. I might post a more in-depth review later. Next time, we're going to be looking at two of the modules in RX9, Voice Denoise, and spectral denoise. Until then, thanks for watching. It's built a noise profile.